eyes open. Yeah. Ronnie Hunt, what's the word? Where you been? What you heard? What you heard? Them indictments got served. They killed Dyke, you ain't heard. I'm that nigga, that's the word. Friend zone, you ain't heard. Jungle baby with the birds, them bank road, bring the girls. And we down by Northeast Mark, they right there by Old Town Mall. Straight out that East Baltimore Mafia, free FMG ball. I feel like Tony Austin, two o'clock at the club. If you don't know Big Kev, you ain't getting it out the mud. Zone two, zone five, zone 13, yeah, that East side. Spin a bend through the 18, off tie, you don't want no problems. I got that word popping. I got that word popping. I got that that word popping somewhere down by John Hopkins. Hey, yeah, the word? Hey, yeah, the word? Hey, the word? Hey, the word? I got that word popping. I got that word popping. I got that word popping somewhere down by John Hopkins. Yeah, about uh, East Side Story. East Baltimore, I swear on everything, we the greatest. I'ma let them know how we coming. We gonna take it. Yeah, yeah. Fuck that. Yeah. they said a good die young. They sure Niggas did. gotta live it up, you hear me? Yeah. Live yeah. once. Yeah. My name is Infamous Knowledge. That's my rap name. Sedonia, Radicky and Antenna. I went to Lake Clifton. Um, I've been around music since I came out the womb. Music always been around this Point Blank Parade growing up. But I didn't indulge in music until recently, and it, it made me even more indulge when he, you know, gave me the juice. He gave me the juice on the, on the music tip. I started at eight years old, you know, I started writing, you know, just came from a studio session, wrote some stuff down, thought it was dope, and, you know, did what I did with it. They can never match my style. They ain't never find a rapper like me before. He amazing. He focused on what he want. You know, it's hard to focus on something that you want and that you really need when everything else around you ain't perfect, you understand? And everybody ain't supporting, you need support. My experiences, it, it gave me a lot to go off of. I had a little brother that passed away. That gave me a good understanding of, you know, I need to chill out, you know, stay out the streets and all that. I know it destroyed him, I was there to witness it. It destroyed the whole family, you understand? That's a, that's a tough thing to have to deal with. But you know, I'm glad he, he, he had his time to think about it and had his time to relax and understand because you know, you lose a, your brother at a young age like that, you liable to go and find support anywhere. And he found it in the right way. He put it into his music, he stayed focused, he want to do this, he want to go to school. You know, there's other ways to handle stuff, especially when, like I said, you don't have no support. You ain't got nobody telling you the right way and you still do the right way. I would say losing his brother put his feelings in a better place, understanding that, you know, love ain't asked for. It's just given, you understand? It's easy to die over pride, families cry. Gotta get to the world and be your best, cause one thing you can't avoid and life is death. You lost and your blood. That little blood. moment, that taught me a lot, you know what I'm saying? That, that got my act together, you know, and I can imagine how my mother would feel if she would lose me. My father, I know he don't want me to end up dead. I have two dead sons, you know. The poverty and the, the streets, it just it catch everybody. It just catches you. It, it has you in a certain mind frame to the point that you just, you just wanna do crazy things. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes people don't have no choice. I feel like it's unsafe. I feel like the police not on the, on the kid's side, ain't no parents on the kid's side. It's, it's not a good place to be. It's not a good place to be raised. It's not a good place to live. We just trying to bring something back to the city. We want to help people elevate their minds. We want to help people push forward in life. You know what I'm saying? Instead of holding them back, we want to help them push forward. We want kids, you know, to be able to have rec centers to go to. And we want mothers to stop crying over dead babies, man. And it's, it's, it's getting out of hand. So we just want to, we want to push the culture forward. That's it. I do jewelry. I got a clothing line finna come out. We do music. I'm indulging in everything. I got a whole movement. It's called shit. <laughs> Success happens in time.